How restoration videos are faked. Thanks to Sunny V2, we all know the unfortunate truth of most primitive building videos yeah. being completely we watch bogus. This. But what if I told you the it's problem of staged video. content goes much, much deeper? And the, the thing is that most things that you see on YouTube are probably fake. Majority of restoration videos are faked. Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist. I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today okay. we'll be investing in the cruel and deceitful world of fake restoration cool. videos. And before we go any further, here's just a quick disclaimer cool. that this video does get very disturbing. And if you're sensitive to topics relating to animals, I suggest you proceed. Uh, is this something I can watch? Has anybody seen this? Is this like, uh, there's nothing that's like fucking get me in trouble on Twitch things, right? You'll be fine. I've watched it. All right. It's lit with caution. Restoration videos have been a viral staple on YouTube for over three years, with the before. niche having several subcategories. The most common variant involves a creator discovering a rusty, aged, or seemingly naturally damaged item, uh -huh. and then documenting the steps of restoring it back into its intended form. Okay. The content grabs viewers' attention by showing a thumbnail featuring an extremely corroded and damaged item, yes. begging the question of what it would look like if oh, it was like, to be brand no new. Way. Hold but up. this is exactly where the fault lies. Give a me a extremely second. corroded and damaged item, begging- Hold up. There's no way an Xbox could be this fucked up this early. Like, that looks like something that you get out of fucking, uh... Like, a, a, like a, a, a Blackbeard's sunken uh, pirate ship 500 years ago. This was on the Titanic. This is, yeah, this is a pirate's Xbox. The fuck? the question of what it would look like if it were to be brand new right but this is exactly where the fault lies okay. and whilst from a first glance this content is generally seen as harmless it's yeah. often not realized by the viewer that in many cases the creator is deliberately damaging or even just painting over the item to steal your attention there are two primary categories of fake item restoration videos strong fakes and mild fakes the strong variant is when the item either has cosmetic rust painted on or is covered in dirt or mud in order to give the appearance of decay eroding or like it's been left outside or submerged water for years. Okay. There's a huge amount of these videos on YouTube, not only about weapons, but also on tech and shoes. It's almost like some of these tech videos aren't even trying to hide the fact that it's staged, going as far as submerging and washing the technology in water. I thought you couldn't do that. Oh, it's water cooling. Yeah, true. The uh -huh. second variant of fake item restoration videos are called mild fakes. The mild fake variant is harder to tell from the strong fakes, as the damage is usually real. So if the damage mm -hmm. is real, then you're probably wondering why these videos are fake to begin with. But that can be simply explained by the fact that the creator is destroying the items off camera by exposing them to chemicals such as hydrogen peroxide that match- Yeah, you fuck them up and then you fix them massively speed up the process of rust growth. Right. And whilst this particular variant is often respected more due to the creator actually restoring the item, it still should be noted that they are destroying the items to begin with. But how would one even Pro know if an item problem. restoration video yeah. was faked in the first sure. place? Well, this is Backyard Ballistics. Their restoration channel has been creating genuine restoration videos for the past 11 months, with some of the videos having between 3.1 and 6 million views. On That's the 6th of September 2022, Backyard Ballistics would publish a video titled Most Restoration Videos Are Fake, where he would go in depth on how to spot fakes, specifically in the knife and gun niche. Okay. The object is altered through a process different than natural decay phenomena. In its most common form, the item is covered in a mixture of dyes, pigments, binders, and fillers, usually tailored to look like some form of corrosion product. Yeah. It's basically painted over. For example, there is no reason for a plastic or rubber piece to become rust colored, nor for a steel. That does make sense. How could a tire have rust on it? I don't think that's how it works. That's a good point. Object to develop green or bluish corrosion products. If you see a steel object with green stuff on it, then what you're looking at is most certainly fake. 
since products of corrosion in a natural environment can be of any shade of orange, red, brown and black, but not green, blue or bright yellow. Okay. Another thing that could give away one of these fakes is the presence of uncovered areas that have been missed during the application of rake rust. For example, a slings weevil could leave a shadow during spraying and there's no natural process that would leave such an appearance. Okay. So we can conclude with high confidence that we're looking at some form of fake rust. Mild fakes are harder to tell apart, but they're also less of a scam. What happens is that the content creator takes an item in good or fair condition and subjects it to the same decay processes that can occur naturally, often in an environment that causes them to happen over yeah, a much sure. shorter period. Yeah, they fuck it up themselves. This still means that guns or items in good conditions are deliberately damaged for the purpose of making a restoration video, but at least the damage is realistic and the recovery process genuine. In other words, I feel like that's not really so bad. I, I think that this kind of stuff is only, like, the mild fakes is like, who cares? You're, you're showing the process. I think the only one that I can say is, like, bad for sure is if you're actually, if you're legitimately faking it completely. And the reason why is because people will take the way that it was restored on that video as the way it can be restored in real life. And also, some of these people might have a restoration business that they use these videos as advertisement for. So those are the only two reasons why they're at, why it's actually bad. And still learn something useful from the video. The accelerated aging process is done properly. It's practically impossible to uh -huh. distinguish it from a natural one. It's a bit like artificial diamonds. They are made in a lab setting over the course of a few days instead of millions of years in the Earth's mantle. Mm -hmm. But if you do them right, the end result is practically indistinguishable. If the neglect that caused the decay happened over a relatively short period of time, the difference between genuine and fake is even more blurred. So with that in mind, many of the viral restoration okay. videos begin to look very suspicious. Right. A great example of a bogus... Does that appear? Nah, nah, I think I believe that one. Restoration channel is Restoration and Metal. Their YouTube channel has gained over 117 million views across their content. That's and a in lot. their video titled Antique Guitar Old Restoration, this is about as obvious as they get. As How's they want to make almost every mistake a fake restoration video could possibly make. What's that? For starters, they randomly find this broken guitar in their garden covered in mud. They okay. clean it up and then they use instant noodles in order to fix the hole. But the real cherry on top? Well, that was the fact that they put the tuning strings on backwards. One might argue that restoration videos videos aren't particularly bad, mainly due to the fact that they are essentially harmless and entertaining yeah. for the viewer. But by looking a little bit deeper into the niche, that statement simply doesn't hold true. Because recently several channels have been thriving from animal restoration videos. Oh fuck, what are they doing? Getting a fat cat? Oh god. Ugh. Here we go. But this only brings up more questions, such as how can animals be restored, and how could this even be staged? Well, Easily. let me introduce you to barnacles. Barnacles are small marine creatures that stick onto rocks, boats, and sometimes even turtles. And with the rise of quote oddly satisfying videos, barnacle removal videos began gaining millions of views on YouTube. And what people are willing to do when it comes to making money is truly horrifying. Oh, Barn they're gonna put barnacles on a fucking turtle? Who does that? Bro, just go rob a 7-Eleven like a normal person. Leave the turtle out of it. He's just he's trying to live his life like, holy fuck. Only grow on sea turtles, and due to the rarity of sea turtles, these scumbag creators have begun staging the content using freshwater turtles. What the they do this by oh literally my. gluing barnacles, seashells, and dirt onto their shells, and then proceed to scrape it off their shells with the shark. thing is, like, I don't know if the turtle feels pain in its shell, but bro, if I saw something that it bro, he not having a good time. Like, can we just admit that? Like, he is not fucking liking that at all objects due to the turtles having nerve endings in their shell the process of scraping oh, off glue okay objects feels extremely painful for the poor turtle yeah and i what, guarantee you like this isn't like putting glue on your hand letting it dry then peeling it off bro like they're, they're, pe they're taking this shit off of the knife oh my god this is ghoulish oh
only damages their outer shell, but also causes internal trauma. Investigations yeah. done by YouTuber New England Reptile revealed that there was one main person behind most of these videos. Oh and what's even God. worse is that they kept using the same freshwater turtles over and over again. Jesus Christ, it just gets worse and worse. That's so... Oh my God. Oh, what the fuck, man? Oh my god, like, that's, that's so weird, man. Like, what the fuck? So after downloading and scrubbing through nearly 200 barnacle removal videos... You know, like, I wouldn't be opposed to YouTube having a... a, a rule against shit like this. Like, animal restoration videos, things like that. I actually wouldn't be opposed to that. They do? Well, I see it all the time. It's the same thing with the dog rescues. Yeah, isn't that animal cruelty? It is, but like, the thing is, like, you can never prove that the barnacles were on there and that they put the barnacles on there. Because even if you prove that the barnacles were put on there by a person, you can't prove it was the person that did the video. So, like, you can never really prove that this person did it to the turtles unless you see them doing it. So you'd have to not allow all of it categorically. And like, for example, um, like the Guinness Book of World Records stopped taking records for fat cats because people kept feeding their cats a bunch of food to get their cats in Guinness Book of World Records. Once again, ghoulish. But they do it. But it's okay because he's a heckin' chonkerino. I, I just I, I don't see this uh you know I've watched some of these uh these videos and it's like they're nice videos to see but like this is just kind of like as soon as people start doing this here's the problem is like as soon as people realize they can do this more and more people are gonna start doing it and these videos are like normie clickbait and because they're normie clickbait, they're always going to be popular. Because there's always a new 60-year-old grandma that's not in tune with it being fake. So it's like... And, and like you get it with these people, right? It's like they're trying to make money and they're doing it like this. I And like you, you, not, you can't expect people to not try to make money. You, you, you know, like, you can't expect them to not try. Like, they're going to make money. You can you can pretend, like, oh, they shouldn't do that, but they will. People that care for the animals will likely continue even without the video, so it only stops people that do it for money. That's true, and also they could have the videos on their website or something like that. And, and I think, honestly, uh, you could even have, like, I, I do think YouTube straight up does need to do something about this i i, I want to finish the video but like I, i'll talk about this a bit after after this i've come to the conclusion that 99 percent of these videos are made by the same person there's just one creep doing this i've spotted about six different species of turtles used in these videos after a while i started to notice something truly truly disturbing and i wasn't at all surprised they're using the same turtles over and over again and i know this because i spend entirely too much time hyper focusing on things most people wouldn't just imagine returning home after every trip to the beach just to have the stuff glued back on your shell so it can be scraped off with anything from a sharp blade to a fork the next day and with comments on these videos such as, it's so nice to see kind people like you helping out these little turtles. Well, how the fuck, the fuck does Naomi know? She just got she, Naomi Lopez. She's just a nice lady with her cute little cat here. That's probably her cat. She pets the cat. She loves that little kitty. What the fuck does she know? How would she possibly imagine this?
It seems like most people don't understand the disgusting and evil nature behind the content they are consuming. But with the rise of the content's virality, yeah. it would only be a matter of time before total experts would catch on. And on the 10th of November 2022, what a channel fuck, by the name man? of Dan the Total Man would create a video exposing a channel named Ocean Sea, which at the time was gaining millions of views from harming the defenseless turtles. This is a freshwater species from Papua New Guinea in New Zealand that they glued and it has a soft shell, not a soft shell turtle, but its shell is soft and leathery, and they glued glued barnacles to the shell to make this fake video. That is so twisted. Not only that, but oh they're putting them in the ocean. God. They're literally letting them swim around in salt water. That's not good for them. This is a freshwater species. They're burning its freaking eyeballs. Not to mention the skin problems that they can have from this. Look, it's leaving lesions. It, look, it's you're literally ripping the freaking skin off the shell of the turtle here because they glued the barnacles to this fly river turtle. Are you actually kidding me? And 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 on the hard shelled animals, at least you know it, it's really uncomfortable, but it, usually they don't rip anything off. On this fly river turtle, they are quite literally. Oh, he's pulling, and then you see how the upset the turtle gets. Dan the Turtle Man's video led to. Holy fuck, man! This is so weird. Like, what the fuck? Oh my god, this is fucked up. It's hard to watch. It is. Just for a YouTube video, man. Like, it's not like this isn't like... They're not doing this to like... This isn't like an animal testing that's going to save lives. Like, it's just for a fucking YouTube video. The fuck? hundreds of viewers reporting the big channels who are posting their content, which luckily resulted in the bigger channels being terminated by YouTube. But Thank this is God. the real world, and not all stories have happy endings, and in this case, that is especially evident, as the terminated channels began re-uploading their videos under new names. An example of one of these channels being Vast Ocean, who in the last two weeks has posted 91 videos amassing over 1.6 million views, gaining their channel over 61,000 subscribers. And by simply searching Total Barnacle Removal on YouTube, you can see hundreds of these videos being uploaded every single day. Oh my god, that's so fucking, that's so fucking weird, man. Thanks to Sunny V2, like, we all know the unfortunate truth. I, I just like... That's so weird, like, what the fuck? I'm sad not yeah, that's so nasty. I'm gonna ban that shit? Yeah, what the fuck, man? Expose these low lowlifes? No, I'm glad we watched this. Like it's that just put me in a bad mood. Like who the fuck does that to a turtle, man? It's a fucking turtle. It's like, yeah, we can argue about the fucking ethics of refurbishing a you know, fake refurbishing a guitar, but like who cares? It's a fucking guitar. But this is just fuck. I don't even want to look at the picture. Like he just try. He's just trying to live as a psychopath. No, it, it's just like, I get they just see the animals as a way to make money. I I get it. But like, I I don't think that this shit should be on YouTube, because it encourages animal cruelty, in a way that's not productive. It's not like, again, it's not like this is like, they're not harvesting these animals for, for meat. They're not even hunting them for sport. It's like, at least whenever you're hunting an animal, you shoot it in the head, it's dead. Right? You don't fucking constantly farm it out over and over and over and like glue things to it and then pull the things off and pull its skin. It's, they're torturing them. Holy fuck, man. They're torturing for the joy of the ignorant? Yeah, I know. Not everything dies in one shot. Yeah, but you see what I'm saying, right? It's like, it's on a spectrum. I, I, I don't know. I think this is like a lot worse than hunting, okay? Like, I, I, I don't know. It's gruesome? Yeah. Even for the shells? Yeah, it's like, I can understand, like, you're... Even if, like, you're killing the turtles for the shells, like... You need the shells for something. Okay, I still think that's, like, kind of fucked up. But, like, okay. But, like, they're just they're torturing them, like, in indefinitely over and over 
for YouTube video views? I don't know, man. Nothing wrong with witch hunting responsibly. No, I, I don't. Uh, I, it, it, it's not about like, I, I don't want to witch hunt anybody because the truth is like we can get a channel shut down. Who cares? You think these people care? No, they're just going to make another channel. Like the same as what happened with the turtle guy. Like, yeah, like it, it, it like, oh, man, that's so fucking weird. Yeah, they just get a new YouTube channel. Just look at Reddit for examples of how witch hunting goes bad. No, I, I don't. I don't want to witch hunt anybody. Like, I, I just. I hope that YouTube sees this, and I. I, I would love to have. Like, if, if they were to sit down with some of these like animal people that they actually trust, and to create some sort of like guidelines for like what's acceptable and not. Because what really sucks is like, again. It provides a profit incentive for people to harm animals because in doing so, they make money. Y'all see what I'm saying? YouTube, like, policy first, ban later. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because, like, the thing is, like, you, it, it's like the way I look at the channels is like whack-a-mole. Bro, you got to replace the whole game. You play whack-a-mole all day, smashing down moles. They just come back up somewhere else. Who gives a fuck? That's a video. Like that's a that that's a that's a good video. Like uh, like huge fucking shout out. Internet anarchist. I've never fucking seen uh, this guy's videos before. I'm I'm really glad he made a video about this. This is fucking great. Uh, this guy says uh, he, he says this here. Uh, it's 2023 now. Thank you so much for 118k subscribers. I appreciate all of you for the immense support. On a positive note, some of the animal channels mentioned in this video have now been removed by YouTube. If you just want to see this, when I let you 500 subscribers away from 100k, this is huge. Thank you all. Um, new video about animal rescue videos. Oh, bro, I'm not. I'm not. I, like, I, no, I think I think we had enough for now. I'll watch this in like maybe a couple of days. I don't want to watch another one, man. Like, it, it it's just these videos are rough to watch. Yeah, but like, it's like you got to see it. You know, it's like it's better to see what's real than live in a fantasy. Like that's always my viewpoint. Imagine the black market videos. Yeah, but like you're never gonna you're never gonna stop freaks from doing stuff. You know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna. The thing is that. There are people that torture and kill animals all the time. And we don't know about it, and we're not going to be able to do anything about it. And it, it, it's like, it is what it is. You know what I mean? So there are people that, that kill humans. Yeah, people kill other people. Like, that's just how it is. But, like, you, you're not going to go and try to make a, uh, like, you're not going to, like, you're not going to stop all of that. It doesn't really matter. But it's it's about stopping the system that incentivizes it. That's what really matters. Like, you can hate the player all you want, but just know that all of your hate towards the player might make you feel good, but that's all it's going to do. Because as soon as you bully them off or you get them banned, three more will take their place and then modify their videos to where they're slightly harder to be detected. Give up the video demonetized with a warning label. I don't know. I, I I I think that there's other ways to monetize either from from that way, and also people might not read it, etc. Idiots killing rhinos to just make their dick bigger. Yeah, I know. You're all crying here about animal abuse while eating bacon. Yeah, but like, here's the thing though. Here's the difference, is that like, whenever they kill the pig. They're not constantly like imagine imagine if to get bacon out of the pig, you had to carve out its insides and then let the insides of the pig regrow itself and then do it again over and over and over. And also, if you eat food, you are getting something out of it that is necessary. Now, you don't have to eat pigs, 
but you are still getting something that is a necessary element of life. There is nothing necessary or mandatory about turtle barnacle removal videos. So like not only is it a bad example, but even if it was a good example, it still wouldn't make sense. You know, there's a level of torture farm animals and pigs do, but the turtle thing is unnecessary. Yeah, I, I think so, but people like eating animals. I love eating animals, but I don't love this. I think this is weird. And I think it's also just like the culture around it and like kind of the, the behavior that it promotes. It's kind of like, it's like what I said with the Guinness Book of World Records, where like it's probably not a good idea. Like they, they got rid of the like the fattest cat, for example. That's it, Asmund. Uh, pigs are what bleeding out, so their meat's tender. You're gonna be killed by Twitter. For what? Like uh, edit that? Why would what? What do you mean? So what if somebody gets mad at me on Twitter? I just block them. Who cares? What What do you think? What do you think's gonna happen? Like, are they gonna quote retweet me and say I'm stupid? It doesn't matter. It's not real life. Twitter's not real. Does it doesn't make it, yeah, what do you, what do you, what's, fuck's wrong with you? Um, yeah, I'm sure that there are some things that are bad. And, and also like in, in my, this is always my viewpoint with like animals is like, obviously killing the animals for food is not the most humane thing that you can do. However, I think people should be able to eat animals and you know, it's totally fine. I love doing it. I think that this is a gratuitous display of indulgence. It is unnecessary. It provides no unique value and it creates an incentive to torture animals in a way that is profit driven F with, with no, it's needlessly cruel and i don't see a benefit of this as i said i'm fine with people using animals for testing you know to test like a you know like a, a mouse to see if you can regrow stem cells to save people from cancer totally fucking fine with that but there is nobody's being saved because of this video